I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm going to introduce some new curly hair products to you guys. Well, they're not exactly new, but they're new to me and my curls. And as you can see, my curls are loving them. So let's hop right in to what it is. I just recently tried a different brand called Curl Keeper. Where's the bottle? Here's the bottle. Curl Keepers Styling Cream. Now if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you've already seen my review and like first look on these because you guys are like my, you know, ride or dies and follow me on everything. And if you don't, you can still follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. You'll be the first to know things even before I post a video. But anyways, I love this stuff. And when I do try new products, I always like to try one product at a time to see how it works on its own. And this does pass my one product challenge that I pretty much do. If I have to use this and like 10 other products to get good curls, I'm probably not gonna like it. If I have to use one or two, that's fine. But this does work all on its own. So with my test, I applied this to my hair and I had amazing day one hair and this as you're seeing it right now, is day two. I put a little bit of water, a little bit more of this, and boom, here are my curls. Now, of course, this product is sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. It says that right in the ingredients, but a little note to Curl Keeper if you're watching, I think it would be great if you slap that right here on the front of the bottle, because as curly girls, Always look for that, and although we can read, we can read the back, yes we can, it would be nice to just look at the bottom and be like, boom, sulfate, silicone, paraben free, let's buy it. Besides that, this bottle is eight ounces, which is a pretty good amount, and it's only $14.99. I personally have seen this at Target, I went online and saw it on CVS, or you could buy it on their website. Their website is actually frizzoff.com. I will put all their information and the website down below as well. They do ship all around the US and Canada, but not exactly internationally. But on their website, they do have other links to websites that cater and ship to places internationally. So that's pretty cool. So now let's talk about the smell. One of my favorite things to, you know, figure out. Ah, uh, yes. It smells like banana. I'm getting like a banana mixed with floral type scent. I think it smells really good. If it doesn't smell good, I'm not gonna put it in my hair. It could be the most amazing product, but if it smells horrible, there's no way I could walk around just keep smelling my hair. So smell's a really big deal to me, maybe it's not to you, but I'm getting a banana vibe. Let me know if you do too. I mean, it's yellow, so maybe, maybe is there a banana in here? I don't think so. I like the smell. It's a very sweet floral banana smell. So I guess if a banana was a flower, it smelled like this. Now one of the cool things that I noticed that the bottle does claim is that it says it's going to be very effective in humidity. Humidity is a big thing that you guys always ask me about, but I live in California, so I don't really have the same humid experiences as you do to give you a very fair judgment of the product. This is where I want you guys to come in. If you do have Curl Keeper or you want to try it and you live like in Florida or Aruba or someplace with crazy humidity, I want you guys to be my low-key secret agent undercover detectives and let me know if it actually works in humid weather. I don't know really why you have to be like a secret agent. This isn't really a secret, but you know, it just sounds, it sounds cool. So now that you know all about it, now let me show you how I applied this to my hair from the beginning. Starting on freshly washed hair right out the shower, I always dry my curls with a microfiber towel. If you don't have one of these, do not use a regular towel because you will create frizz, but you can use a cotton t-shirt. And now I'm gonna grab my Curl Keeper Styling Cream and I'm going to apply about this much. And although I should probably put it in my hair in sections, I always like to put a little bit here, a little bit there, and then I kind of flatten out my curls and I do scrunching and like this flattening motion in between my hands. And then I just rake through, especially during the front parts to make sure it's evenly distributed throughout all of my hair. And then when it's done, I just like to let it air dry for a little bit. And as you could see, the curls look beautifully defined already. Then a few hours later, this is how my curls ended up. I did not diffuse this time, I just let it air dry. And as you can see, my curls are super defined, no frizz, very soft, absolutely no crunch. And I was very, very, very pleased. 
So there you go. That is how my hair looked on day one. I was very happy with the results. I didn't even diffuse it that day. I just let it air dry and I went shopping, which meant I put my hair in and out of a lot of clothes, which usually makes my hair horrible and it still looked pretty good. So that was actually very impressive in itself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I am going to be doing more reviews on the brand Curl Keeper that I'm excited to share with you guys. I post new videos every single Sunday. And if you want to be the first to know about how I feel about a certain product, make sure you follow me on all social media like Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.